everyone. It's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls. And yes, surprise, I am bringing back for the time being the monthly readings. Now, of course, this is going to be on a trial basis. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> we will see what kind of feedback comes in from these videos. So I'll determine then whether to continue them. But for now, this is going to be April 2019. My website is angelsouls444.com. Let's get started. Hello, Virgo. Let's see what's going on for you for April 2019. Okay, so some of you have been a little overly critical in some situation, circumstance. Let's see what we got here. Healthy boundaries. Yeah, you're being, you're getting a little too involved with things. And normally this means you have to set healthy boundaries for yourself. But this month, it feels like you're, you're kind of going where you're not supposed to go or you're getting involved in stuff that doesn't pertain to you so kind of think about what that might be <laughs> we'll get more of a story here music so we got spirit quartz we have clarity Ooh, um that felt like someone says hey back up so let's see what else <laughs> hold on it leads to joy because it leads to, sorry about the glare. Um, it leads to an open conversation. So let's talk about it. It's not, it's not all doom and gloom, but this is the red Jasper. So you need to be, it says healthy boundaries. So you need to be more grounded and you need to respect other people's boundaries. And that means not, you know, worrying about people is sort of, Depends on the circumstance, of course, but worrying about somebody can really <laughs> be tiring as well. I'm guilty of doing that with my family. All I ever do is worry about them. Are you guys okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? You know, what about this? Have you tried that? And what it does is it makes, I think in some scenarios, it makes them feel like I don't trust them to make good decisions for themselves, or I don't trust them or honor their path in life. So this red Jasper is talking about get yourself grounded step back, let people do their thing. Okay. As it might start to invade your free will choices, you can stop that. Okay. You can absolutely stop that and say, no, 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 no. Then maybe you are setting a healthy boundary, but, um, take that into consideration. So how do you do that? How do you get out of the worry? How do you get out of the anxiety? Well, I, obviously I'm not a therapist. So <laughs> if you are dealing with anxiety or something like that, you have to, you know, go to a, uh, mental health care practitioner, but this is spirit quartz music. So this talks about frequency, it talks about healing, heal your worry, heal, you know, whatever that sense of distrust is, whatever that thing is, that's making you, cause it's all out of love. Everything that you're doing is out of love, but, um, what can make you feel calm and peaceful with being less involved? <laughs> right? So some of you, yes, it could be at work. It could be in family. It could be in a love partnership. You know, are you sure you're making the right decision? You're constantly doubting someone, constantly um, having something to say. But music will help you tune your frequency and will help you get, well, I was about to say clarity and I forgot that this card was here. <laughs> Tanzanite clarity. It'll help you get clarity about um, someone else's perspective. Um, you might even have like some empathy. You might start to feel like, well, yeah, that wouldn't be so nice if someone constantly questioned my every move and talk to me as if I didn't know what I was doing, <laughs> right? Um, so you get clarity around a situation and maybe, and I'm hearing motives too. So you get clarity around people's motives and it could be that you get clarity around someone you thought was working against you. They're not. And as a matter of fact, they're in the same boat as you, right? So protection, clarity, because I, I, you know, this is Archangel Michael kind of energy. So having protection around you, people that you love, that you're concerned about. Some of you have teenagers that you're like, oh my gosh, they're getting behind the wheel for the first time. Uh, P.S. I almost got run over by a teenager just about a week ago. I'm not kidding. Um, I live near a school and she came flying out. I was in the crosswalk. I saw like a crossover vehicle coming my way. I jumped back, screamed like a harpy with my arms flailing <laughs> in the street. It was a whole thing. It was very, very, very scary. But so I get it. If, if you're a parent out there and you have a teenager that's getting behind the wheel, I mean, you know, they're going to have to learn their lessons, you know, in driving. So some of you are contending with that. But again, you know, especially with teenagers, you have to be coming from a cool, calm place. And yeah, because they just keep using the word rebel. 
people are going to start rebelling against you. And it's not just if you have a teenager, it's anybody. They're going to start distancing themselves from you. So whatever that scenario is, keep an eye out for it. But as we said before here, this is Opal Joy. Conversations get started, they open up, and you might find that through some sort of conversation, you end up bonding deeper with someone and be in a far better place with that dynamic, whether it's at work or with an individual, let's say in family, whatever the case may be. Now you're in such a state of joy about that. It's almost like you can look at each other and know what the other is thinking because you have opened up your energies to one another. So it actually has a nice outcome, but you got a lot to learn <laughs> this month. So finally, we have Burgundy, Awaken Your Passion, the number is 10. What this card is talking about in the context of this uh, card story that's going on here is that you have better places to spend your energy. Let people learn their own lessons. Let people, I mean, if you see a woman with a walker who's about to fall into a deep puddle and like fall or something, jump in, okay, help her out, make sure she doesn't get hurt. But what we're talking about people, like maybe it's a sibling and they're choosing to marry someone back up. You know, if you've said your piece, you've said your piece. Now it's time to awaken your passions, get your energy going into a different direction that can actually be more constructive. It can, it can do more good <laughs> in this world rather than worrying about everything. Okay, so we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you so much love and take care.